you need to be really careful about this x-ray. Let's go through the case. So it's important to go through the x-ray systematically. First, let's have a look at the clavicle. That looks okay, I can't see any fracture here. Then we'll move on to the ACJ or the acromioclavicular joint. The acromion is part of the scapula and the underside of the acromion should line up with the underside of the clavicle. And that's the case here. If you find the clavicle is being displaced upwards, then you could have ACJ dislocation. But that's not the case here. Make sure there's no glenohumeral dislocation and the humerus lines up with the glenoid, which is part of the scapula. And that's OK here as well. Now, don't forget the chest. Have a look at all of the ribs and outline these and also look between the ribs at the underlying lung. If we do so, we can see there's a lack of lung markings between the second and the third rib, unlike the rest of the lung. This isn't typical for a pneumothorax where you'd expect lucency, as here there's an opacity. So we have to suspect that there's an underlying mass. If we look closely, we can just outline a mass at the lung apex. This doesn't look destructive in that all the ribs look intact. Given this is such a young patient and it doesn't look destructive, lung cancer is probably less likely, but we should consider a neurogenic tumour and a pleural fibroma in this case. Here's a coronal view of the CT scan, and this confirms there is a mass here at the left apex of the lung. A PET CT scan shows there is some metabolic activity within this, and also you can see again there isn't any erosion of the underlying rib. An MRI was performed, and the lesion has this almost tubular appearance and really enhances once contrast is given. The lesion was resected and was confirmed to be a schwannoma. The learning point here is to never forget to look at the lung on every shoulder x-ray you look